Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a how to really easy at home French manicure. This is super, super easy. You don't need skill at all and it ends up looking like a really professional gel French manicure. As you can see, this is the finished look. So if you wanna see how to do this look, just keep on watching. I started off with a coat of just a sheer pink polish because my nails are super stained from putting so much polish on. Okay, so what you're gonna need are these. These are reinforcement stickers um, for your binder. These you can just get at any kind of school supplies section, at like Walmart, Target, anything. So you're just gonna take one, kind of dab it off a little bit so it's not too sticky, and then I'm just going to apply that right above my actual nail line. And then I'm gonna take my white polish. I'm just using Wet n Wild white cream. And I'm just going to paint that right where the sticker is. Slowly take off the sticker. And then you're left with a really nice, clean French manicure. As you can see, I already done this hand, but that's literally all you do. So I'm just going to do that to my other nail. I'm just gonna let this dry and then I'll come back. So it is dry and what I just did when I was waiting for it to dry was just clean up the edges with this brush and just pure acetone because it got on my skin. And now I'm going to go in with the sheer pink polish. This is just Step Right Up by OPI. And I'm gonna apply a layer on top. I already did this before, um, but that's just cause I have really stained nails. So I'm just going to apply just a quick coat of this all over and that just really finishes the look. And that's what I did on this hand too. So I'm just going to do that all over. So now I'm just going to wait for that to dry, but I actually don't like to wait for it to completely dry because as you could see, there might be just kind of some splotches where there's not enough pink and things like that. So I like to put my top coat um, when it's just like 80% dry, just so when I'm running the top coat, it can kind of blend everything and make it look a lot more like professional. So yeah, I'll come back when it's 80% dry. Okay, so now it's about like 80% dry and I'm just going to put a really thick coat of Sesh V, just any thick coat of a really shiny top coat. This is just gonna make it look really like gel-like, fake-like, just really nice and it's gonna blend everything together. Who you think you're talking to? Wow. I spent time alone before I 
these days looking like a dream since I've been on the road. Seeing shit I've never seen before, and still there's no place where I come. Spending all my days on the wish I know. And I'll feel the same on the other side now. Young niggas switching up the program. That's how you do it. Super easy. Thanks for watching. Bye.